Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, June 21st, 2021 by Gaia Blumi. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I take the time to listen to my feels and honor my sensitivity. And oh my gosh, we have so much to dig into. I want to start by reminding everybody I am starting my feelings deep dive class this week. The first class will be on Thursday with the full moon. Um, so there's time to sign up. I have a fact group if you would like to know anything about it. Um, of course, you can always email me as well. So all the information is below for that. So that being said, oh my gosh, let's dig in. I want to talk about Jupiter retrograde. I want to talk about the sun moving into Cancer. And I want to give a brief overview of the week ahead. So I'm going to start with the week ahead. So I mentioned full moon energy incoming. We have a full moon this week. Thursday, powerful full moon in the sign of Capricorn. The sun in Cancer, moon in Capricorn balance is very interesting because Cancer energy is like, I want to nest, I want to rest, I want to be calm. And Capricorn's like, to infinity, not it may, that's more Sagittarius, is to infinity and beyond. But like, hi ho up the mountain, we go. <laughs> so. I don't know where I ho up the mountain we go came from, but that's kind of the energy of doing things. So it's working on working through that balance this week of honoring, like I said, the sensitivity, but also utilizing that desire to connect with your purpose and destiny energy that the incoming Capricorn moon can and will bring. Um, we have Mercury going direct this week. It has been retrograde for several weeks. Uh, so it's going direct on Tuesday. We're going to have Neptune go retrograde. <clears throat> um, and reminder, retrogrades, it's not a bad thing. It doesn't mean that the world stops. It's just a return, a review, and a lot of times a deeper pulling within. So we'll dig into that. That'll be Friday. <clears throat> and then finally, we also have Venus moving into Leo. So we're going to have Venus at the final degrees of Cancer this week. So definitely some emotional peaks moving through this week between the full moon and all this cancer energy that we're going to be working through. Um, let's see, do we start with cancer or Jupiter? We're going to start with Jupiter. So Jupiter went retrograde Sunday morning. I did do a little write up about it. Um, Jupiter will be retrograde in the sign of Pisces until July 28th. And then it's going to retrograde back into Aquarius. Now, I mentioned this in the write-up, but I think it's really important to reiterate. Retrogrades is a pulling within. So Jupiter in Pisces is a remembering of the magic you carry within you. It's a remembering of spirit. You are a spirit in a material world, right? You are a spirit in a physical body. And so it's connecting to that energy. It's connecting to the wisdom. I always liked when Dr. Wayne Dyer would speak about, you know, you you're like a piece of pie. <laughs> like if the universe is a pie, you are a piece of this pie. You are a piece of that which has created you. Anything that you create is like a piece of you. And therefore we <laughs> are also a piece of what has created us. And that magic lives within us. So Jupiter retrograde in Pisces to me is about digging deeper into connecting and recognizing that magic. Not always seeking it outside, not always seeking the guru or your connection to God universe outside. It's listening to the wisdom that you do carry or even beyond wisdom, your intuition and your magic and the spirit within you. So that to me is Jupiter retrograde. It is time to review your magic. Like I said, if you are Sagittarius or Pisces or strong Jupiter energy, you may feel a little downturn in this energy as it goes retrograde. Um, I usually get a little sleepy when Jupiter gets retrograde. It'll wear off in a few days as we adjust to it, right? <laughs> Speaking of sleepy, we have the sun in Cancer. Now, I'm recording this 8 o'clock p.m. Arkansas time, <laughs> Central time, um, and the sun has not yet shifted into Cancer at this time. It is shifting late tonight, early tomorrow. Technically, when the sun shifts, that is summer solstice. So a lot of people are celebrating solstice today, but technically summer solstice is with the shift. So incoming summer solstice energy and winter, and 
the southern hemisphere. So solstice energy, incoming solstice energy, and sun in cancer. Sun in cancer is really about connecting to your inner nurturer, connecting to your compassion from that inner nurturer, connecting to your feelings and recognizing the power of your feelings, the power of your sensitivity, even the sensitivity that doesn't feel good because the universe is always trying to like help us steer and help us notice what, what is going on. So by tuning in, paying attention to our feelings, we get a whole new level of what's going on, whether the feeling is connected to a deeper wound or the feeling is connected to um, soul joy, because it's like, yes, this is the direction. Your feelings have beautiful, powerful information for, for you. Um, sun in Cancer, it's home, it's family, it's foundation. It can be ancestral stuff. Uh, so connecting in, connecting into your family, the roots of your family, and just seeing, you know, are there are there energies wanting to come through or living through you from that ancestral life? Or even are there energies living through you that are like, time to clean house, right? <laughs> so tuning into that with cancer energy. Um, nesting, resting, taking the time to nurture yourself, taking the time to nurture your house. In fact, today, even though the sun is uh, <laughs> not in cancer yet, I spent the whole day like unpacking and doing more stuff. Like my, it's almost, almost presentable. <laughs> so tending to your home, spending time with family energy. I would say during cancer, one of the things to watch for is getting stuck in comfort zone routines. Cancer really likes comfortable energy. So notice where you may have a desire to do something, but the comfortability within you isn't really letting you necessarily take that action and then see what is what is aligned at this time. Um, I think also just being very aware of your feelings and how much, oh, this, is, this is one of the cool things, I'm really excited about the class. Um, I can't go into it now, but cancers are so influenced by the energy of others. <laughs> um, and so you know, recognizing that during this cancer season energy, like, is this mine? Is this my feeling? Or is this something that I've picked up? And really starting to tune into that and really, again, working with, working with your energetic body through listening to your feelings. That's really, to me, kind of this focus of this cancer season. I really feel like between the retrogrades that we're going to have going on as well, like it is meant to be kind of a quieter season, have your fun, do your things, you know, host, cancer loves to be a host, come over to my house and let me take care of you. That's very cancer energy. Um, but do also offer that to yourself. Take it easy, take it easy on yourself during this time. So we will go deeper into that as we move through the month. Let's look at today. Whew, okay. We definitely have Grand Trine water energy, and we will have the sun at zero degrees through the entire day. So despite the fact that we have solstice magic, which can also like kind of, you know, bring a little sparkle to us, um, that zero degree energy may have you feeling a little offline. So do take it easy if you're feeling that, that energy. Also with the moon in Scorpio, we have Grand Trine water. So between sun now and cancer and this energy, our feels are coming up and they are swirling and our intuition is spiking. That's another thing about cancer energy, like listening to your gut, like honoring your intuition. Very important with cancer energy. But the grand trine just kind of emphasizes that. We'll also have Venus in the sign of cancer connecting with Neptune in Pisces and the moon uh, connecting with both uh, Venus and Neptune as well. So whew, that's definitely deep. There may be some old other lifetime uh, stuff coming up through that relationship stuff coming up, relationship to God, spirit, universe, maybe even relationship to like your spirituality um, might come up. Interesting. 
relationships <laughs> on many levels, but not, not just like romantic. I really am feeling this like, you know, I think there's been so many lifetimes too for, for many light workers, like the, 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 how many days of Mercury retrograde left? <laughs> so many light workers who were so turned off by power hungry, you know, spirit workers in other lifetimes. And we still have to work through that energy. You may find mirroring situations coming up for you, um, or even just like memories of that. So be aware of that. Again, multi-relationships, but that message feels very specific that that may be coming up. Uh, let's see. Huh. The moon is going to oppose Uranus. It's very early, but you may feel some triggers. And again, our feelings are going to be much more sensitive. But listen to them like you would a child. I always say cancer. Leo Leo's about the inner child, but cancer is like our inner infant. This is where we have to really tend to the baby within ourselves so that we can grow into the inner child, a healthy inner child, so we can grow into the healthy adult self. So this is where, this is the foundation of things. This is where we really want to dig in and tend to that. So baby yourself. This doesn't mean get stuck in that baby state, but go there. Like nurture that part of yourself that's coming up, tend to it the way you would a baby, somebody who was dependent on you. Um, as we end the day, we will have the moon connecting to Pluto a little opposition, so we may feel, again, feeling that thing, some disempowerment from other lifetimes. Check yourself where you're feeling disempowerment around your intuition, around your spirituality. Check yourself there. Check in with you. All right, so speaking of this, we are going deep with this energy. And Spirit's like, you're ready. You're ready to go deep. You're ready to go there. You're ready to go to the places that hold immense color and light, but also the places that are a little bit more shadowy. You're ready to do that. Um, I feel like this is us with feelings. Like, fine. Fine. <laughs> Don't make me go there. I'll put my pinky out and touch it a little bit. So maybe a little bit resistant at first. It's okay. It'll grow on us. Um, the key is to have patience. And I have patience in reverse. So we may not be feeling extremely patient with this. This has the moon cycle. This is the call. And then we go into Leo. You know, then we go into the fun times. I've got, speaking of the fun times, I have the queen of wands in reverse. It's like this bright, creative light that is going to be turning on. But today, it's like, just take it easy. Give yourself this rest. And then whew, here comes flourishing. Um, so I'm going to leave this here. Remember, you can sign up for my class. Message me if you have any questions. Uh, you can also book a reading. Email me, Mimi Clark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And stay curious. Namaste.